One, two, three, one, two, three, and then I'm outside. Jackson Shipley is in a familiar setting, All right. but in an entirely different role. I'd always been the player, you know, I'd always been kind of in their shoes. So it was kind of a different, unique, and, and just a really fun and cool experience for me. After a lifetime of playing football, highlighted by stops at both Texas and in the NFL with the Cardinals, the receiver made a hard cut out of the only route he'd ever known. Jackson Shipley. And retired from the game. I was in a little different situation than a lot of guys who maybe don't have a family. Young guy chasing his dream doesn't have a family. Me, I had a family. And after coming home from being released, uh, within about eight or, eight or 10 weeks, I had made up my mind to move on. Over the years, it seemed like 50 to 75% of my time was spent on a football field or doing something football related. It kind of felt like, you know, I had kind of lost some part of my life that was very important to me. That's where his new career started. In January, he launched Shipley Performance, a training academy for receivers. We catch it in front of us with our hands here. It was a way for him to stay close to the game he loved and pass on information he'd gleaned from some of the biggest names in the game, like his brother, Jordan Shipley. I looked up to that guy more than anyone else in the world. He taught me everything I knew going into college about the position, you know, so he gave me a head start. And from his year and a half stint with Arizona under the tutelage of Larry Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald. He opened my eyes in a, in a lot of ways. Watching a guy who's playing a position that I was already playing, you watch the creativity and the things that he does that I had never thought of to get open. I was just in a good situation, and I was learning from some of the best. Now he's sharing that knowledge with receivers from as young as eight years old up to Texas' current set of wideouts. They reached out to me, and it was a lot of fun to get to go be around the next big crop of UT receivers and to get to coach them up on some things that have really helped me over the years. No longer in the game, but still a part of it. Good. Chris Tavares, KXAN News. 30 seconds. One more time through.